I think that what we, we achieved exactly what we wanted to do, which was uh, you know see him coming down the hill, give him the exposure to the track, and uh, you know just make sure he was generally happy with the place. I wanted to get him away from Newmarket, frankly, as well, um, that he hasn't been away from home at all, so he stayed overnight, uh, which he uh, credited himself well. He didn't misbehave, so that was all right. Uh, and I think the work that he did was, was excellent. It was just, just ideal, just what we wanted. And how's he been since the Guinness? Fine. Um, you know, he came out there. It wasn't a hard race for him. Obviously, it was acutely disappointing, the whole uh, Guinness episode. You know, a number of sort of factors, really, that, I mean, you know, the pace was bad. Um, you know, the ground was again was sort of fastish, and maybe you know, looking back on it, you know, it did come sort of quite quick after the Craven. And I suppose you know, the way he finished the Craven, and thinking he had plenty of running left and all that sort of thing, but inevitably it does take you know, more than we think sometimes out of them. So I think all of that conspired to be a bit of a stinker, really. Um, but even so, he's still only, still only beaten three lengths, so not the end of the world. And you, you said before the, the Guineas that a mile would be the minimum mm -hmm. trip for him. Yep. A mile and a half, do you think the optimum? Uh, yes. Well, I, it, might, it might be halfway between the two. But the great thing is that to get this, um, you know, he's now settled. I mean, we, well, not that he ever wasn't, but you know, we can settle and we can ride him to get the trip, which is the most important thing, I think. So I've no doubt that he will actually get this mile and a half. Whether it'll be his optimum, I don't know. But. You mentioned they're just about settling him. A lot's been made about Frankel's being quite buzzy. Mm -hmm. Derby Day, a, a race day like no other, is, is that a bit of a concern for you? Well, it's a concern for me personally. I just hope it's not going to be too much of a concern for the horse. I think, um, again, the reason to sort of bring him here, put, put him in the parade ring and everything, and clearly it's nothing like the same as it will be with the people. But uh, he's such an intelligent horse. I mean, even today when he was sort of going up, there were quite a few people sort of on the stands and hanging around, but his ears are always sort of pricked. He's taking it all in, and he's just not a fool. You know, I think he just, he just, I think he'll step up to the big occasion. But inevitably, it has to be a bit of a worry. I mean, I don't want to be walking around here and the band's playing and he starts to sort of sweat up and you think, oh my goodness, I've been completely wrong. But I, I think he'll be okay. In ground conditions, what would be optimum? Well, this is, is much better. I think we've, uh, you know, run him on that. I mean, he was softish when he when he won uh, in October last year at Newmarket, which was fine for him. And then I think we've sort of managed to get away with uh, running him on that sort of fast ground. Well, get away. I mean, I just, I just don't think. A bit of cut in the ground, I think, is going to suit him purely because, I mean, there's a heavy top horse, you know, there's a lot of him, and I think, uh, I, I, I think he'll like it. And this ground here is, is, is perfect today. What it'll be like next week, I don't know, but if it were run the race today, it would be perfect. And just a word on the opposition, there's an old adage, if you've got three horses for the derby, you haven't got any. Mm -hmm. The fact that aidan has got so many, Godolphin have got so many, does that maybe think that they haven't got a particularly strong hand, although it's strong in numbers? Um, I'm not a form expert, so I don't know. As long as they don't get in the way, that's all I'm worried about, really.